with an article that I wrote. I'm going to read an article that I wrote that I thought you would enjoy. It's called Awakening, and it's the awakening of the inner spirit for true freedom. My name is Angelica Rose, and my website is angelroselove.wix.com forward slash love. So I'm going to share a little bit about the article. I want you to imagine two apples. One is sour and the other is sweet. They both have seeds in the middle, which represents your core beliefs. You come on this planet to learn and become smarter, to release that of which is not serving your inner spirit. The sour apple represents learning and evolving through the path of ego control, and the sweet apple represents the inner spirit being more active in your life. You evolve and become smarter on both paths, yet one is filled with a heightened level of joy, peace, love, prosperity, vigor, and vitality because there is more of a oneness with your inner spirit and universal love. The other is filled with duality, such as good, bad, sad, and happy, chaos, and peace, hate, and love, limitation, and prosperity, tiredness, and vitality. If you take the path of the ego control and you have self-defeating beliefs, you will have more struggles in your learning and evolving your spirituality. You operate at a linear timeline consistent of a heavy focus on the past and the future with thoughts and emotions on fear, insecurity, limitations, and worry. The stronger the ego control is around these self-defeating beliefs, the greater the drama. Your attention is on the past with some regrets and some gratitude. The regrets consist of outdated beliefs that have had a hold on you and thereby your focus on the future has thoughts and emotions filled with worry. You are therefore operating at a lower frequency, filled with limitations and fears and insecurity, negativity and judgment. The more you put your attention on the past regrets and on future worries and feed it, the greater the drama. Because you are hooked on the drama and continuing to play it out, you are not fully releasing the outdated beliefs due to the control around that program shown in the beliefs that you are living in. Your life is filled with ups and downs from a chattered mind and mixed emotions. The human ego kicks in with the fight, flight, and protect mode. You may start blaming others who are attempting to assist you or project your dysfunctional beliefs on others. The focus is more on the outer world, attempting to fix, correct, change, blame, teach, or judge. Therefore, you are stuck in the illusion of what is outside of you rather than what is inside of you, where your inner spirit resides. It's a lose-lose situation. It takes a lot of strength to keep your attention on the universal trust and not on the unpleasant conditions that you are experiencing. It is not that the human ego is bad, where you have to attempt to kill it off, judge it, or hate it. It can be your friend as you love and embrace the human parts you are evolving. Rather than allowing the self-defeating beliefs to control you, you become more aware that those self-defeating beliefs are not serving you and therefore you can release them so that the human ego control doesn't go into the fight, flight, protect mode. When you operate with the inner spirit being more active, life is operating on a non-linear timeline where there is no past or future, rather the present moment. When the inner spirit is more active, there is no fear, insecurity, negativity, or judgment because there is an inner self-responsibility and gratitude to those who assist your learning. You embrace and release those self-defeating beliefs more fully rather than allow it to control you. You become aware of more nurturing means of self-love, self-confidence, self-worth through awareness of these self-defeating beliefs. By continuing to live more from a place of love and joy, peace and prosperity, you start to develop new ways 
of seeing life. As your inner spirit becomes more active, you live more in the moment of the unknown where there are no self-defeating beliefs or programs running your life. Your attention is more on the unknown, which comes first in the form of energy and then turns into new healthier beliefs. These energies keep expanding into heightened levels of frequencies where you experience wonderful new todays and tomorrows. The inner spirit operates at a higher frequency so you experience expansiveness into healthier beliefs and heightened levels of abundance filled with bliss and peace and love and prosperity and vitality versus a primary focus on releasing self-defeating beliefs and expanding into healthier ones. You become aware as an observer rather than as a participant when you are releasing so it's easier to let go of the outdated beliefs. The linear timeline of past and future is no longer pulling on your attention, so it's easier to focus on the expansiveness and the outdated beliefs on no longer dominating your life through the control mode, so it's easier to release their hold on you. It gets easier to reconnect with universal love by focusing on celebration and love. As an angelic walk-in, I channel expansive, pure, loving beings, including Christ love and the angelic realm that support the awakening of the inner spirit. The expansive pure loving beings download these energies of pure love to support the awakening of the inner spirit as it becomes more active. Therefore, the ego control is less active. The inner world is stronger versus the outer world and the dysfunctional beliefs distracting you or giving you power to it. To learn more about this, please go to angelroselove.wix.com forward slash love. Have a beautiful and blessed day and I hope you enjoyed this article.